What's going on reef builders? Jake Adams coming back at you with another great video topic. I uh, very much enjoyed the last couple weeks since uh, reef stock wrapped up. We did a big push to get everything ready here at the studio just to achieve a certain level of completion. And now we're just uh, reefing and it's it's so much fun. And you might have noticed my, my great reef stock t-shirt here. We're gonna have some merch available for you guys in the future. But today I wanna talk to you about something that is very, very important. It's probably one of the most important aspects of keeping any kind of aquarium and extremely, extremely overlooked. And I, if you've read the title, you know where we're going with this, so I'm not even gonna play. But I'm talking about aquarium lids, aquarium lids. And uh, you don't wanna put any good fish in an aquarium until you have a lid. And you probably haven't noticed from this shot, but we have some very fancy, swanky, new age lids uh, here at the studio. And they're all over the place. And um, we're very, very thrilled to announce that uh, Clearview Lids is going to be our official uh, lid and aquarium cover sponsor here for the studio because frankly uh, they do really really great stuff and there's no one else who makes the uh, a really good tight fitting modular aquarium lid you'd be surprised how much goes into lids um, but I guess to show you how great these lids are let me show you an example of a not so great lid so early days of the reef aquarium studio the reef builder studio i showed you this one uh, this lid doesn't fit all the way so i put some clear packing tape here on the back and um, it's a little bit ghetto but it's worked to keep our precious aberrant dotty back inside so some of the things that's wrong with this this particular lid there's a don't have any way to open it i don't have any way to dose it um, it doesn't really allow for gas exchange and the only thing it has going for it is that it keeps the fish inside. So uh, we've got these brand new Tsunami modular lids from Clearview on every single tank and um, some of them have different features but the main thing you should take away is that we have basically kind of an acrylic framework here and it's cut out a little bit to reduce on uh, weight which helps the thing keep from bowing and a nice mesh top that ha uses a spline to basically kind of make it nice and flush across the entire aquarium. So this is the four foot version. We've got the three foot version. This is what it looks like, looks like uh, without a feeding door. Um, we are able to kind of open it. And uh, here is a two foot section um, that gives kind of a, a better look at the entire thing. All right, so I wanna use this two foot section to show you some of the features of a Tsunami aquarium lid. Uh, so first of all, you might have noticed that there's these funky kind of puzzle piece fitting uh, sections here um, because this is not a solid uh, machined acrylic part. They make these multiple parts to make this entire lid modular. Uh, what that means is they don't, uh, that saves them a lot on acrylic, it reduces the cost, they can pre-manufacture these parts Parts to the Clearview lid, uh, the, to the Tsunami lid in advance. So that way when you order it, you can get all the parts uh, you need in separate kits for your aquarium. Um, and assemble it yourself with that spline I was talking about. Um, so some of the other features of this thing, is one thing I really love about it is it's recessed. It's clear it's recessed. So there's just this tiny, tiny little bit here that sticks out from the tank. So when you're looking at the tank, you know, kind of at eye level, it pretty much disappears. You know, a few days after getting these lids on here, I kind of forgot they were here except for that comforting feeling knowing that my fish can't jump out. All right, so we've talked about the foundation. We've talked about kind of the spine and how modular they are, but some of the features uh, that they incorporate uh, natively with the Tsunami lids is each corner piece has a tiny little cutout, pretty much too small for anything but the smallest fish to jump out, but this is where your cords can be routed out. We have, uh, we don't have any cords coming out of these tanks because we're using all Vortex, but I'll show you some of the other tanks. 
Um, what are some other things? Here is the feeding door. So there's feeding doors uh, options. These are uh, optional in the kit. I think they add about $20 to the cost. So we've got a small feeding door here and we've got a large feeding door there. Um, but then the other feature I want to show you is if you um, get it, measure it perfectly, they will um, Cut, make these pieces right here to size for your particular aquarium mount. We measured these so well that the, the, the entire lid fits extremely tightly into this entire system. And man, it just looks really, really good. I'm, I'm really a fan of the clear lid, a lot better than like maybe say a black. Here's another example where you can see uh, the cutouts that were made specifically for this uh, particular aquarium setup. But you can see just how tight that is. There's just no chance of a fish jumping out. And here it is an example of one of the larger feeding doors. And uh, let me show you one more option that's available as an add-on to these particular uh, lid systems for our aquariums. Okay, so we have one more innovative marine uh, lid over here. This one has no feeding doors because I feed and I dose right through the mesh. But one thing you'll notice is that this actually has um, thin cutout pieces. Uh, basically, this is to reduce evaporation or to keep the tank warm. And so it's got this giant, uh, just kind of thin, thin section right here. That's a whoop. <laughs> Maybe I should have held that over the tank to uh, save that evaporated water. But here we have um, just an extra piece for uh, reducing evaporation, for keeping the tank warm, uh, whatever you need. Or if you have micro, micro fish who might magically jump through the mesh. So this is another kind of a modular add-on option that's available with the uh, clear view lids, uh, tsunami assemblage. So those are kind of like your standard issue uh, lids for, and tops from clear view lid. And let me show you a couple of fancier ones we have here on the water box, the six foot water box peninsula and the Red Sea five foot peninsula. So for this particular uh, aquarium, these, these lids are a little bit longer. Uh, these tops are a little bit longer and we've got feeding doors on both sides and the end so these i guess again these are options the large doors and the small doors and to be honest on a peninsula tank i'm pretty much just kind of already programmed myself to just use one door so unless you know you're going to access the tank from both sides uh, maybe you only need one door but this was kind of cool that way we can kind of access both sides of the tank very easily through the doors. So when you get to this size, now we're talking about tanks with built-in uh, overflow boxes. And what's cool is that uh, Clearview Lids uh, already has the dimensions for the Red Sea Peninsula, and I gave them the dimensions for my water box, and everything fits super perfectly. Here you can kind of see where the cable comes out uh, right where that cutout is, um, but you have complete access to the, the overflow box. Um, so just again, another really, really great feature, and uh, man, they just fit so, so, so well. Gotta, so well, you gotta, so well, you gotta get it in there perfectly to put it back. Um, and let's take a look at the, the peninsula, the, the crystal peninsula from water box. We've got the same thing, didn't get a feeding door on this end, we got two feeding doors, um, but again, I've kind of trained myself to just use one. And here, it's just, it just fits like a glove. It's just so satisfying how tightly, how cleanly that fits. Um, so one final thing, I believe, yeah, one final thing to know about these longer clear view lids is in order to keep them from sagging in the center, because there's not that much material right here, you know, is they have these braces right here that basically kind of push it apart. And on this particular one, you can see just a little bit of sag, but um, this center brace uh, is not glued in, they, they come out. And so the other one, they've already made lids for the five foot reef Red Sea, a reefer peninsula. So they've got that one dialed in, but this one is really, it's kind of cool because they're just gonna send me a slightly longer piece, which is gonna push these two ends apart and just keep everything nice and taut. But even for their first try, the sag on the center section is so minimal that I actually don't even think about it unless I think about it. 
So that's the tour of the new lids here at the Reef Builder Studio. It's not the sexiest thing to discuss and talk about, but it's so important um, for reducing evaporation on nano tanks so you don't have to top them off so much. Um, and mostly just to keep the fish in the tank. If you have an open top tank, it's pretty much kind of a, a matter of time. It's, it's when, not if, your fish will jump out, no matter what kind of fish it is. So um, if you have a reef aquarium, a fish aquarium, you really should have lids like these. Honestly, there is nothing on the market that compares to these uh, machined acrylic lids that Clearview is putting out. There's a few DIY options out there, but frankly, I found those just really time consuming to put together. And as a non-professional, if you only do it once, you're not gonna put it together that well. So um, I can't thank Clearview Lids enough for sponsoring this part of the studio. It's a very crucial part. And um, I hope you guys like this little teaser of uh, our pretty much a finished phase one reef tanks. Um, we deliberately wanted to show you the lids before we showed you the reef tanks, but uh, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and look out for some videos highlighting each of these new reef aquarium systems uh, very, very soon. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you did. We'll see you guys in the comments and on the next video.